A woman says she's hooked on Apple iPhones following quite the ordeal this summer. She was out ice fishing on Waskasu Lake when she dropped her phone in the water. Determined to find it, she organized some help to retrieve the phone. 30 days after the plunge, it still works. Carla Shinkarek has that story. You're right there. These are the familiar sounds of any fishing trip, but this cheering has nothing to do with a fish. No! Phone retrieval. It was a cell phone that Angie Carrier pulled out of the frigid waters on this day. It ended up there 30 days earlier, right after she warned her daughter to be careful with her phone. About 10 minutes later, I have the phone on my knee. The tent blows up. I go to grab the tent and down it goes. Carrier was celebrating her 50th birthday and initially thought retrieving the phone was a lost cause, but then she had a change of heart. I'm finding that phone. I can do this. You know what, Ange? It's worth a try. Let's go. This was the third trip back to Waskasu to try to find it. Armed with a fish finder and magnet attached to a fishing line, they persevered for two hours. I found the phone, not me. We found the phone. Then she plugged it in, having little faith because she assumed she'd just be taking a broken phone to Apple and getting a new one. So the screensaver came on, which was shocking at first. And then when I did the brush up and went to the screensaver, everything was still on the phone. This is what I was looking for, is my photos from the 50th party. There's nothing about the phone that doesn't work. It's amazing. Tech expert Curtis Parody agrees with that. But there's only so much right and so long that those uh, actual rubber gaskets will last for so uh, 30 days in presumably freezing cold water uh, it's interesting to see that the phone actually lasted that long. Parody says this particular phone should only last in water two meters deep and for only 30 minutes before being permanently damaged. 30 minutes? 30 minutes. Not 30 days. <laughs> okay. Carla Schenker, CTV News, Saskatoon.